Phil McKnight, Breville's coffee guru, and today I'd like to introduce you to our BS870. We call it the Barista Express. At the heart of this machine is the stainless steel conical burr grinder that's built right into the machine. It also has dose control, which allows you to dose the same amount of coffee into the porter filter every time. Having the grinder built in unlocks one of the secrets to making great espresso, and that's grinding right before you extract espresso. So on the left hand side of the machine, we have a grind size adjustment dial. This allows you to fine tune the rate of extraction of your espresso. Also in the machine, we've included a lot of features and functions and technology that we developed in our BS900 dual boiler espresso machine, and they include low pressure pre-infusion and PID temperature control. PID temperature control is really important because that controls water temperature that's delivered to the ground coffee and that's the secret to getting maximum flavour. Also we have programmable one cup and two cup buttons. These allow you to extract 30 mils and 60 mils of espresso, but we also have a program function which allows you to customise these volumes so you get exactly the right flavour in your cup every time. We also have a pressure gauge. The pressure gauge is your key to consistency. If you aim to hit the same mark on the gauge every time you extract espresso, you'll know that you're getting consistent flavours. The dedicated water spout is really convenient because it allows you to preheat cups and it also allows you to fill a cup two thirds full of hot water so you can make a long black. We also have a large water tank which is removable at the rear. It has a carbon resin integrated filter so that helps reduce scale build up to keep your espresso tasting great. So another really cool feature that we built into this machine is the ability to adjust brew water temperature. Why would we do that? Because it's critical to get the best flavour out of the coffee by delivering water at exactly the right temperature for that particular coffee. So you can adjust the water temperature plus or minus two degrees C in one degree C increments. Another convenient feature is we have a removable hopper in our grinder. All you do is just turn the dial, shuts off the bean flow, so you can lift the hopper up then you can store your beans conveniently in an airtight or vacuum sealed container. That way you'll keep your beans fresh and that's one of the keys to making great tasting coffee. So let's make a coffee. We're just going to insert our porter filter directly into our grind cradle and just bump to start. So you can see here we're grinding right before we extract and that's one of the secrets to making great tasting espresso is grinding really, really fresh. We've got our dose adjustment dial set here so that we should get the right amount of coffee in the filter basket every time. One of the really, really important things to making great espresso. So we carefully remove our porter filter from the grinder cradle. You can see here we've got uh, what looks like a lot of coffee, but that's how freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee looks like. All we need to do is distribute, collapse, and then using our integrated tamper, tamp down nice and firmly. And you can see there, We've got the right dose because we've just got our top of our cap on our tamper is level with the top on our filter basket. Just replace our tamper, wipe the top of the basket, insert into the group head and brew immediately. So right now we've got the machine is just in its low pressure pre-infusion zone and now we have full pump pressure and we've got nice really dark viscous flows of espresso and that's exactly what we're looking for. So our espresso extraction is finished, now we're just going to switch to steam. And this is where our large capacity thermocoil comes into action because we have a really quick transition to steam, only around 30 seconds, so it's really quite quick. We have our jug filled up to the V full of really fresh, nice cold milk. We're just going to pause our steam, insert into the jug and restart our steam. So what we're doing here now is we're just texturing and stretching our milk. And what we're looking for is we're looking for some really, really small microphone bubbles. And the texture of our milk when we're finished should be really, really glassy. It should be like wet paint. Now I'm just using my hand to judge the temperature of the milk. With a bit of experience, it's pretty easy to do that. When it's up to temperature, it's just a little bit too hot to touch, which it is right now. So I'm just gonna turn the steam dial to standby. Drop the jug down, use a wet cloth to wipe the steam wand, and then we're just going to purge the steam wand. We're just going to grab our espresso, swirl to break the surface tension of the espresso, and then we're just going to integrate the two together. So there we have a coffee made on our Barista Express, just like you get in your local cafe.